Hi. In this tutorial, we are going to make an animation counting numbers in widget. First of all, let's create the counting function. Click Character Blueprint in World Outliner to open an event graph. Create two keyboard event nodes and designate any keys you want to the nodes. Here, we chose Q and E. Next, create one integer variable and one Boolean variable, and name them as count and counting respectively. Next, create one get count and two set counts. Connect the get count with an addition node to one of the set counts for counting function, and give the value one to another set count for initializing function. And then, connect both set counts with keyboard event nodes. You may check whether the variable is being counted using the print string nodes like the video. Now, compile and play. You can count with the key set to the keyboard event node. Also, it is possible to reset. Let's make a widget now. Right-click to create a widget blueprint in user interface. Bring the text to the middle of the screen from palette. And then, change the position, size, and font of the slot in detail of the text and align the texture to the center. Next, create a bind from text setting to make a new function. Going to the function, Create both get player pawn node and third person character node for getting variables from character class. Connect them together. Next, after changing the third person character node as pure cast, bring up the count variable we made at the character blueprint. Now, when you connect the count variable to the return node of the function, numbers text will change depending on the value of the count variable. Next, we will make an animation of the text. Create an animation track by clicking Animation at the bottom left of the Widget Blueprint window. Next, click Track to make a track of the text. Click Plus button in Timeline to create a transform and a color and opacity. Next, click Plus button of Translation and Transform at the time 1.5 sec to make a timeline. Next, input 250 to 1.5 sec of X's value, 0 to 0 sec of it, and play the animation. You can see the text moves left to right. Give values to rotation at the translation and play the animation. Then, the text moves while rotating. Lastly, input the value of alpha in color and opacity like the video to make fade-in and fade-out animations. Play the animation and check if the animation effect is applied properly. To use the animation, go to the Event Graph of Widget and create a custom event node. Load the animation we just created as a form of Get, and after creating a Play Animation node, Connect them together. After that, connect the Play Animation node with the Play Anim node. Now, compile the widget blueprint and go back to the character blueprint. Create an Event Begin Play node and a Create Widget node. Connect both together. After that, set the widget blueprint we made to the Create Widget node. Next, create a variable of widget. When you connect it to the Add to Viewport node, the widget will appear on the screen while playing. Next, create two branch nodes. And then, after creating a get counting variable, connect it to the branch nodes. Make two set counting variables, give its value false, and connect them with the branch nodes in order to be counted only once even if the key is pressed continuously. Next, bring up the widget variable and create two play anim nodes. Connect print string nodes to them. Connect delay node and counting node together so as not to count while playing the animation. Give the delay node's value to second and set the counting node to true. For the last step, set the default value of the counting variable to true and compile. Now play and press the key designated at the keyboard event node. Then an animation counting numbers will appear. Thank you.